This is the Thinking Effect, where we help you do your daily best. Now I'm your host, Tommy Danger. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found the podcast through any social media, I appreciate you for checking it out. Those old and new know that we've been, not old and new, those of you who have been around for a minute know that we've been doing this for a while. Took a little break, personal shit, just rebalancing things, getting things back into perspective, but I figured that it's now is a good time to come and check in and see how you're doing, what you got going on, as well as give you a little update on where I'm at in, in life and how I've been doing my best to do my daily best because it's been a it's been a hell of a ride. I was talking to Grace and she was asking me, I guess this week's topic is sort of like what keeps you going. And I'm trying to think of like, there's no easy way to answer it, right? I could, I could sit here and say like, oh yeah, it's just, it's my family, it's my kids, it's, it's my wife, it's the presence of God in my life, it's knowing people depend on me, it's, but I really think that it's deeper than all of those things. I think that I've been placed on earth to do something great, right? And great, in my mind, great does not mean monetarily or superhero, none of that shit. It's just like great is how can I contribute to other people's lives while being true to myself. My greatness is being transparent and being authentic. And I think I am somewhat, I know you want me looking at the camera, I'm about to cuss you, but I have to, I have to think when I speak or it's not going to sound right, so give me. I think that a lot of us, when it comes to being around other people, we are concerned about what they think, and so we act in the way that we think they want us to act. And then it's almost like you become this other person, right? So it's sort of like, oh, you're supposed to be the perfect husband. You're supposed to be the perfect dad. You're supposed to be the hard worker. And sometimes I may drink too much. Sometimes I may cuss too much. Sometimes I may fuck up. And this is all part of who I am. I don't think that it takes away from the good parts of me. It's just part of who I am. And, I, and I'm the challenge for myself now is to really just embrace all parts of myself. Because if I don't, then it's sort of like I'm living fake. And if I'm not and if I'm living fake, I'm not being true to myself. And if I can't be true to myself, how can I be true to anybody else? Whether it be my kids, my wife, or you guys listening. It's easy to snap a picture online when you have a certain surrounding and when you have certain people in your presence and make it look as if everything's good. You know, you got it going on. You must be doing well for yourself based on that snapshot. But sometimes, I don't think we take the time to consider what's sort of going on behind the scenes when it comes to those pictures or what a person has gone through in order to reach that part, like in order to be in this space that I'm in right now, like even though it's a small room and it's a studio that I've put together that I've always dreamed of, like I'm talking at least two decades, I had no space. I had the living room table or the living room floor. That's where all the podcasts that you heard when I was doing the public access TV show, that was basically in our living room also. We just moved the dining room table and put two stools against the wall. And we've always made the best of our resources and just did the best that we could do. Because at the end of the day, it's just allowing you to hear other people's stories as well as hear my story and use it as energy to hopefully get you to do whatever it is you want to do. I don't know what it is you want to do, but if it's something that is in the field of creativity or if it's something in the field of wellness that you can look at the content that we've created and, and draw from that and draw from that energy. I think one of the most enlightening moments that I've had in life is embracing the pain of losing loved ones and instead of trying to run from that pain, like really allowed myself to wake up in the morning crying, go to bed crying. I'll be walking down the street and I'll just start to cry. 
I'll be angry sometimes and I don't want anybody to tell me to stop crying. Don't tell me don't be angry because you don't feel the hurt that I feel. And it was important for me to feel those feelings so that I can now appreciate the happiness and the joy that I feel. Um, that I have these angels that I can talk to at any time when I feel stuck or I feel like I need some help. I can I can call on my angels and, and they and they guide me and, and, and you know, they had to go to where they needed to go to so that they can look over me and then my own selfish way I may say like, oh man I wouldn't want that to happen but that was that's that's part of the plan and I think that in dealing with that that has helped me to become a better person and 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 step in my grace and in my greatness I'm not telling you how to live your life. I'm just sharing with you my journey and where I am. I will continue to do my best to be authentic. Sometimes you may tune in, you may like it. Sometimes you may tune in, you might not like it. Sometimes it'll be funny. Sometimes you may feel a little sad, but one thing you'll always get is you'll get the true Tommy. There is no, there is no in the middle, right? That's where we're at. I appreciate you guys checking out the podcast. As always, if there's a subject, it's a subject that subject, if I could talk, that you'd like for us to cover, please shoot me an email. I'll leave the links with everything in the description. And also, at this time, I'm not interviewing anybody. I know some people have reached out to me to interview them, but I'm not open to doing interviews right now. When the time is, when I feel ready to engage, I will let you guys know, and I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Danger.